moment, Connor. I don't mean to be a bother, but I wanted to ask you something. When my cars went up in flames, I lost most of my tools. I've got some spares back at my shop in Boston, but as you know, I'm not really welcome around there. I thought if it wasn't too much trouble, you could help me retrieve them? What would you have me do? Watch my back while I gather them. Meet me in Boston at my old shop. A sporting gentleman. Connor, good to see you. How are you doing otherwise? Oh, well, well, all right, I suppose. Things never really go as planned. It does life. Really? How do you mean? You know, you make a plan and it all goes awry and nothing gets better. And it's like a different. Sounds like, like you have had a string of misfortune. It will pass. doing here sweeping my steps if it please you since when are these your steps since i bought them three weeks ago from who the owner via his apprentice owner shipped off out of town was it to you i am the owner not anymore mate sorry better sort things out with your apprentice He's open at the pub over there, but I'm sure you already knew that. <laughs> Not to say there's a difference. They've never seen a man move like that. to sell my shop well you were run out of town i thought you'd never come back so i sold it all the shop the tools it's rough luck anyway it's been great chatting but i must be off have a nice life what rot tools are a woodworker's lifeblood he'd never sell them i bet he's got them stashed somewhere then we follow him. of the Indies to make this winter season's hearty stew more savory. If I were in your shoes, I'd have been transport needs between the city and points south, including Philadelphia and
Old days in the cart from nightfall and be in New York. Three of this rubbish for good before the month is out. That's something, at least. Thank you. Still can't believe he sold my shop. I'll see you back at the homestead. 